In today's video, I'm gonna try to draw this reference photo right here. Um, yeah, it's a pretty challenging angle, but we're gonna try it anyway. But before we start, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't yet. I really appreciate. Thanks so much. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and draw a circle for the cranium. Okay, just a quick sketch. And now we're gonna look for the brow line. It tells us more about the tilt of the head. So let's drop that brow line at the center of the head of the cranium and make sure you observe the angle and the tilt. So let's assume that this is the, the line of the eyebrow. So you can use your pencil to see if that is correct. So now let's go ahead and draw the hairline. And it's basically just one mark line we're gonna put here and establish the, the uh, placement of the hair. And then we drop the same distance, but it has to be a little bit taller because we are looking at the reference photo from the from um from below there is some foreshortening of course and the middle third is going to be a little bit bigger than the upper third and also the bottom third is going to be the tallest don't foreshorten the whole portrait to the extent it it just it distorts the image now let's go ahead and draw a straight line or a curve to find the boundaries of the head right the the right hand side boundaries of the head okay, and now we're gonna draw the side plane of that cranium so just draw a circle and look how wide that circle is from the side from the corner of the eyebrows so uh, let's assume that this is let me adjust it this is the corner of the eyebrows and let's just draw that plane okay so now we can go ahead and draw the jaw the jawline okay um so we have the jawline observe the angle of the jawline yeah so i feel like it is right about here let me adjust this so we have the line of the jaw that connects to the chin yeah so let's just keep it this way let me adjust my proportions okay so now let's come here we draw the forehead and just gonna chop off the side of that a little bit of that cranium just like this now the eyebrows and also the eye socket so we're gonna draw a straight line to identify the eye socket but also the corner of the eye socket and the cheekbone the shape of the far side cheekbone now the nose this is the trickiest part you have to be really careful with it okay so we have the keystone shape let me adjust it let me first draw establish the width of the nose and the ear is going to be somewhere here because of that angle kind of like this so we have the ear the neck so we have the muscle of the neck okay just some random lines this muscle right here and it stretches and pinches here the shape of the shirt and the shoulders okay um let's come back now to the nose we're gonna draw the center line of the face to help us 
keep things in perspective bottom plane of that nose I feel like it's somewhere here right so we're gonna draw a rectangular or triangular shape for the bottom of the nose just to add more structure to to the drawing now we're gonna draw a boxy shape of the nose to help us um, better understand the structure but also when it comes to adding the details it would be easier for us to place those details so first of all I want to just check the line of the nose and I feel like I need to bring it to the left just a little bit like somewhere here but also I have to make the nose pointy yeah kind of like this observe the distance between the side of the nose and the cheekbone but also the tilt of the cheekbone and now we kind of have 3d structure of of the nose so later on we're gonna add details and add the shape of the eyebrow so observe the shape draw lines instead of curves if you feel like um, you have difficulties in drawing the curves so draw lines it would be easier for you so the keystone shape now observe the gap between the two eyebrows how wide that gap is the eyebrows now let's come down here we're gonna look for the filtron which is this this shape right here and now I'm gonna just establish the line of the mouth which I feel it's gonna be right about here so let me adjust it observe the thickness of each lip and sometimes the bottom lip or the top lip is bigger than the other it depends on the head types but also it depends on the the angles from which we are looking at the the head okay we have this shape of the bottom of the chin it's really tricky so you're gonna practice a lot to kind of get that in in place okay, so now we have that that roundness of the mouth all right so now let's go ahead and draw the eyes so we're gonna use the nose as a guide to help establish the, the eyes so I usually draw a straight line a, um, a vertical line to find one of the tier dots and I just identify or place in the width of one of the eyes and based on that eye I go and draw the other eye so I feel like this is correct let me double check yes and the eye that is close to the camera is gonna be bigger a little bit bigger than the eye that is far away from us because of you know perspective bottom of the chin Okay, so let me come here and add the hair. So I'm gonna go ahead quickly and draw some random shapes, trying to imitate the general shape of the hair. At this point, I don't even know what is this. 
I can't see the details, so I'm gonna just assume that it has this type of shape. Okay, so we come here. Don't be carried away by the details. Just observe the general shapes and try to imitate those shapes and really simplify as much as possible the more you simplify those complex shapes into primary forms the easier it will be for you to add details later on and be more accurate now we get the, the structure we're going to come here to the cheekbone we're going to add some um, some planes okay so let's start with the side plane of the face which is this and we divided the face into two major planes the front plane and the side plane let me adjust it okay i think that is correct so let's just follow the shape of the eyes So the eyelashes are pretty thinner because of the perspective. So this one, the upper eyelid is wrapping around and it's thicker. Okay, I'm not gonna draw the details again. So come here, the lower eyelid or the bottom eyelid we draw the the plane the top plane of that bottom eyelid maybe i add the iris okay doesn't look like the reference photo but you have to trust the process here so we have this eyebrow wrapping around the brow ridge. Okay, let me just go ahead and draw the eyelid. I, I can't see what's going on there, but I have an idea of the that measure bottom plane of the top eyelid okay it's wrapping around i didn't draw the eyeball but if i drew the eyeball it would be wrapping around the eyeball just like this and m maybe i made it too small i don't know but it's fine At this point if i draw the iris it's gonna look a bit weird because of the lack of the structure around in on the reference photo let's come here and draw the details around the nose so we're gonna go ahead and draw the wing of the nose we are gonna draw a ball for that cartilage and also this nice shape of the nose and now we add the nostrils we go ahead and draw the other nostril you can add it or just draw um you know add dark values it's fine it's not an important detail okay the top lip it's wrapping around the the muscles of the mouth
unless I draw the planes of the mouth it's not gonna look 3d so we need to add structure okay on the bottom plane as well we need to add the planes of the mouth and what I like to do is to avoid drawing heavy lines around the edges the, these soft edges of the bottom lip we have planes here we have plane we have plane here okay so let's come here we have top plane of the um the mouth and i usually use the asawa method as a guide to help me draw those planes so at some point i've come to memorize them now i just draw them whenever i feel like i need to draw them all right so now we have the side plane of the of the forehead which is this one we have the front plane this is going to be the front plane wrapping around the forehead okay um let's come here perhaps i need to yeah i need to make the neck a bit taller just like this but the aim is just to understand you know the structure of the face uh, the structure of the head uh, the proportion and all of that stuff likeness is gonna come later on with a lot of practice likeness is gonna come because portrait is really one of the most difficult things to master and even even if you spend a lot of time drawing portraits you still face those challenges of not getting the likeness so spending a lot of time learning the basics is very important okay so yeah i think uh i'm gonna stop here thanks so much for watching guys give it a like and subscribe if you haven't yet and also i upload weekly tutorials long demos on my patreon check me out if you are interested thanks so much guys for watching i really appreciate see you in the next video bye